What's going on y'all, it's DG back with another video. Today is going to be a special one because I'm going to walk through every single pair of Kyrie Irving shoes that I own. By no means do I have the best collection out there. There are so many other people in this world who have way better you know, poop shoe collections, Kyrie Irving collections, whatever you want to call it, than I do. My purpose of this video is just to share what I own and what I have in terms of Kyrie Irving shoes. So let's get right into it. The first pair that I have is the Kyrie Low 2 Mr. Krabs. This is an immaculate pair that I actually waited in line for. Not really camped out because I think camped out is like overnight, but this released at my local mall, at my local house of hoops. And I did line up for a pair for around, I think two hours max. I actually bought the entire pack, one in each pair, one colorway per the SpongeBob line. So that was really cool. Everyone in line was really cool back then. I think 2019 was the year that these released. There were a pretty big GR, but the problem with collaborations like these, especially in a very nice SpongeBob pack, is that it really does have a lot of demand. There was also merchandise that released with it. So I think I got like two shirts and a sweatshirt of the SpongeBob, you know, collaboration. I'd still have the shirts for sure in my drawers right here, but overall, this is an immaculate pair. I don't really like the Kyrie Low line in general, so I'm actually missing a lot of great colorways in the Kyrie Low line. Not even the twos, but the threes, the fours, and the fives. I don't have a lot of colorways in. My favorite lows of all time for the Kyrie line is the SpongeBob lows as well as the Sandy. So I'm going to show you all what's next, but overall, this is my first pair, the Kyrie Mr. Krabs lows. Next up, I do have the Kyrie 3 EYBLs. I believe these released on Sneakers app back in the day, but they were pretty limited, you know, mainly given to EYBL players, but this was a general release, meaning that, you know, common people, normal people were able to get this pair. I really like the Kyrie 3 looks wise, but cushion, y'all know if you guys played in the Kyrie 3, is not the best. It is pretty firm, but what can you expect for someone like Kyrie Irving? You know, he is the king of court feel, so he needs something that has a lot of court feel and firm and responsiveness. Overall, this Kyrie 3 EYBLs are just beautiful. I think it was inspired kind of off like a birthday cake or like a cupcake. I think I saw a Nike designer, you know, repost one of my posts and have those emojis and stuff like that. So really like this pair right here. It does have the EYBL logo on the inside. Not sure how well you guys can see that, if at all. But this is the second pair in my collection, the Kyrie 3 EYBL. Next up, I have the Kyrie 6 in the Manila preheat colorway. For the Kyrie 6, they actually launched, you know, around the world, four specific cities around the world and in specific colorways. So this is the Manila pair. I am full Filipino, so had to get this pair right here. Does have the PH in the inside on the medial side right here. And I, and I believe on the other pair on the right shoe, it does have the Sun logo to represent the Philippines as well. Beautiful shoe right here. I do like the Kyrie 6 as a performer. Fits a little bit snug, but very good shoe overall. I think the one downside is that a lot of people just don't like how bulky it feels. But at the same time, traction is great, cushion is great, overall lockdown and support is great. So can't go wrong with the Kyrie 6. I did have a chance to get those, you know, preheat Tokyos that I actually passed on, but hopefully I can find a pair in my size in the future. So let me know if you guys have that pair in my size 10 and a half or 11. Next up, I do have the Kybrid S2 in the What The Colorway. This is actually one of my favorite Kyrie colorways of all time. I don't have the other, you know, shoe. It's actually in the box and I'm too lazy to get it. But you guys can see the inspiration right here. These were formerly called the Pineapple, I think on Nike sneakers app, which doesn't really make sense to me. I think it's just because it incorporates some of the SpongeBob collaboration right here. But this is a true what the colorway. You guys see the SpongeBob print in the back, as well as all of the details of his PEs on the medial side. You guys see the confetti Kyrie fours right there. So this shoe right here is amazing. This is one of my favorites. It's been a while since Nike basketball has done proper what the colorway is and this is definitely one of the best so let me know what you guys think of these you guys remember when these released because i think these sat for a while honestly i think yeah they, i'm pretty sure they sat so let me know what you guys think of these next up i do have the Kyrie 5 mamba mentality chaos colorway this is inspired off of the kobe 5 pro Tro or the kobe 5 in the chaos colorway it's inspired off of heath ledger and the dark knight and the joker in general so this is an immaculate pair. You know what's funny about this pair is that these went on sale, guys. These went on sale. I first got these at my local shoe palace on sale for like $80, I think. 
And then I got rid of them and then I bought them back. So this is the pair that I got back. Haven't played in these quite as much as the first pair that I got, but these are immaculate guys. The Kobe 5 Pro Tro Chaos, the Kobe 5 Chaos, whatever you want to call it, Retro, Pro Tro, whatever, even the OGs, is such a great colorway and it represents so much. And I actually got the Kobe 5 Pro Tro Chaos at my local Foot Locker. So, you know, I had to get these as well. Like the Kobe 5 in the, you know, Kyrie 5 silhouette is just amazing. They executed this colorway so well. And what's really sad that this reminds me of is the Kyrie 6 Mamba Mentalities. Do you guys remember the Kyrie 6 in the Bruce Lee colorways that actually released in Europe for like one to two days? And then they canceled the release due to the passing of Kobe Bryant. So there were pairs in circulation, you know, out there, but I can never find like a 10 and a half or 11 in those. But basically the Kyrie 6 released in um, Bruce Lee colorways, but they canceled it. So this is the last official, you know, Mamba Mentality Kyrie. And I really, really enjoy these. Can't wait to, you know, go continue to play in these in general, but let me know what you guys think of these as well. Next up, I do have the Kyrie 7 Mom in the water and fire colorway. So this actually came mismatched. This collaboration with Sneaker Room is one of the best things that Nike has ever done in my personal opinion. Not only does it pay homage to Kyrie's mother, and you know, the past models were just crazy. Like the Kyrie 3 mom, I think it originated on. The Kyrie, you know, 5, I think they skipped the floors. I think, you know, the Kyrie 5 was just immaculate, pretty limited. Kyrie 6s were more in circulation. There were a lot more stock of those, but the cream pair was pretty limited. And now the Kyrie 7 guys, the Kyrie 7 was so fire. This is one of my favorite Kyries. In general, the Kyrie line, you guys all know, is just an immaculate silhouette from Nike. It's probably, you know, top 10 at least, top 10 line at Nike basketball, at Nike in general, it has to be. And this colorway right here is so crazy. I think this was limited to a thousand pairs worldwide. And so I can't, you know, express enough how lucky I am to have this pair right here in my size. It is really, you know, nuanced in terms of the release of Kyrie Mom pairs because they release exclusively at Sneaker Room, which is a boutique in Boston, I believe, or in the, you know, East Coast. And basically they have, you know, release info all on their Instagram page, all on their website. So if you're not plugged into that, then it's pretty hard to get these pairs right here. I do think that there will be a Kai one for Anta for Sneaker Room. So I think they're going to continue the mom line for Sneaker Room, have collaborations on the Anta Kai one. So I can't wait to get those. I actually don't know if that's true or not, by the way, it's just speculation. The reason why I mentioned that is because I saw some photos of the owner at a Kai one launch party. So I think that, you know, Kyrie and the owner of Sneaker Room are really good friends. And I do think that all of his colorways just are amazing. And, you know, Kyrie partnering with Sneaker Room to bring out colorways like these is, is going to continue on the Anta Kai one. Next up, I do have the Kyrie Infinity EYBLs Peach Jam. So these are the Kyrie Infinities, guys. This is not the Kyrie 8. The Kyrie 8 is actually the one that got canceled and never officially released. Although I will fully explain that when I get to the Kyrie 8. But this is the Kyrie Infinity, guys. So Kyrie, I think the story is that he didn't necessarily approve of this model right here. And they kind of rushed the production and release of these. So he didn't want these to be called the Kyrie 8. It's kind of like a... It's part of his signature line, but it's a little bit of a one-off due to all of the back and forth between him and Nike, I believe. Again, it's speculation, but I do know that these are not called the Kyrie 8. It's supposed to represent the Kyrie 8, you guys see, you know, the Infinity logo literally looks like the 8, but it formally is not the Kyrie 8. But this colorway right here is, I think, one of two Kyrie Infinity colorways that I own because this is easily the best, in my opinion. This Volt Green is so nice. You have the Peach Jam EYBL logo on the tongue right there. Next up, we have the Kyrie 4 in the Lucky Charms colorway. Lucky Charms is easily my favorite cereal next to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which I will also get to soon. This is easily my favorite cereal of all time to eat in general. I do like Cinnamon Toast Crunch as well, but kind of the sweetness of that is a little bit overbearing sometimes, but those are definitely my top two cereals of all time. And I do have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch colorway as well. I did skip out on the Kix colorway. I think that was a miss, guys. Why are we including all of these heavy hitters with basically Lucky Charm, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then we're gonna get Kix? 
I know Kix is, is solid, it's solid, but it's not on the level as Lucky Charms or Cinnamon's Toast Crunch, so I did not get those. Those actually went to outlets. That specific colorway went to outlets. And I think some of these went to outlets too, but you know, in various sizes. I do love this colorway right here. Nike did an amazing job on the cereal pack, the SpongeBob pack. So many great colorways for the Kyrie line. You guys can all reminisce with me. And look at this outsole, guys, with the marshmallows. You know that we would not eat Lucky Charms without the famous nice marshmallows. So absolutely love this pair. The colorway is just so good. It's executed perfectly. So shout out to Nike for making these. I do have the Kyrie 5 SpongeBob that I got the same day as you guys all know that I mentioned earlier at the mall. This is a very good colorway. I do like the other, you know, I like the Squidward and the Patrick Star better than this colorway right here, but you have to get the entire back if you get one, especially if you're a collector. So absolutely love these. Next up, I do have the Kyrie 4 in the confetti colorway. These are so good. Another mismatch. Probably one of the OG mismatches that a lot of people were wearing. I do remember these were somewhat limited at first and I did have to pay resale for these, but they're not really in playable condition because the outsole is just very, very slick now because I cleaned it so much. And the upper is good because I cleaned it, but overall I need like a DS pair or just like a new pair. So if anyone has a size 11 or even 10 and a half in the Kyrie 4 confetti, let me know. But this is one of the OG mismatches, you know, a couple years ago. And these are just so good, so good. Nike did an amazing job with the Kyrie line. Next up, I do have the Kyrie Low 2 in the Sandy Cheeks colorway. Not necessarily my favorite. I would rank it last in the entire SpongeBob collection, but these are still very nice. A lot of Hoopers were wearing these simply because they're just so clean. They go with everything. And if you watch SpongeBob, you love Sandy Cheeks. She is, you know, one of the best characters. So absolutely love these as well. Next pair that I have is the other pair of Kyrie Infinities that I own, and it is the Kyrie Infinity EYBL Nationals for girls EYBL. You guys see the logo on the tongue. Very nice color scheme. There was also a KD15 that came in the same exact colors that I own. Let me know if you guys want to see my KD collection as well. I do have a lot of KD15s, have some older models, but KDs, obviously he's on his 16th model. So there's just so many KDs that I don't own. And yeah, I don't really collect KDs. I don't really collect Kyries either, but I do love some specific colorways that I've shown all of you. So I had to get them. But let me know what you guys think of this Kyrie Infinity EYBLPE. Next up, I do have a Nike ID of the Kyrie 2 in the What The Kobe, you know, color scheme. I did pay resale for these. These obviously represent the Kobe 8 What The, and I do think it is executed very well, whoever made these. So I'm very glad to have these in the collection. And it is a really, you know, rare period to see. You don't really see Kyrie 2s in general anymore. Nonetheless, anything in a What The Kobe 8 colorway on a Kyrie 2. I do have the Kyrie 7 in the Mom colorway to complete the set with the fire and water. So I do have the earth and wind. I do like the fire and water better, but these are just so nice. And I actually might mismatch the yellow with the blue of the other colorway. So these are just so nice in my opinion. Again, I can't wait for the Kai 1 sneaker room colorways to release if they actually do that collaboration. So let me know what you guys think of this colorway and whether or not you like the other, you know, set better, the blue and red or just the yellow and green. I do have the Kyrie 5 Pineapple. These actually didn't release at first. At first, I thought these were a PE. Y'all remember when, you know, these first released with the entire pack, like the normal SpongeBob pack. And then we did see Kyrie wearing this in his first NBA game or his first game with the Brooklyn Nets, I think. I have no idea if my memory is just escaping me, but he did have a really big game in these, like in this pair right here. I do remember all my Kyrie guys, leave a comment down below if you guys know what I'm talking about. But basically, I don't think these released at the same time, or it might've been another colorway. Anyway, these released later, I'm pretty sure. And I had to get these. These I thought were PE at first. And look at this colorway, guys. This reminds me obviously of Gary and, you know, living in the pineapple of SpongeBob's house. So. Let me know what you guys think of these. I think it would have been really cool if they made like a Gary colorway or Plankton colorway. But nonetheless, let me know what you guys think of the Kyrie 5 pineapple. Next up, I do have the Kyrie 5 in the Patrick Star colorway. This is probably my favorite out of the entire collection just because it pops so much. It is so iconic. And down the line, people are really going to love this pair. And 
want this pair more than they already do. I think resale is so high right now. So let me know if you guys have this pair right here. Do you guys remember when they first released? It's funny because, you know, they had a bunch of pairs of these. Do you guys remember on Sneakers app when they had like this Lost and Found type game or like the Scratch, the Sneaker Scratch? It might have been something like that for a preheat release. And then basically they released some stores, they released online. So there were a lot of pairs of these guys. There were a lot of pairs. It's just that the demand is very high. And you know what I miss? Why can't Nike do something like this again? I'm not sure what's going on, but basically I hope that Nike does more collaborations like these. It's been a while since we've got like exciting collaboration colorways or you know pink colorways in general we don't really see besides the zion 3 pink lotus so let me know what you guys think of these next up i do have the Kyrie 4 cinnamon toast crunch my second favorite cereal of all time super clean i love the materials on these the suede on the back portion even have you know the logo on the tongue so let me know what you guys think of these as well next up i do have a pretty rare pair of the Kyrie 2 girls eybl these are so nice. I've been looking for a pair forever, so I'm very happy that I found a pair in my size. Did play in these a couple times, as you guys can see by the outsole. But again, Kyrie 2 is not my favorite performer just because of the lack of cushion. I think if I was a little bit younger, I'd like them a lot more. And nonetheless, the Kyrie 2 just looks amazing, especially in this colorway. Next up, I do have my favorite Kyrie 3 of all time. Kyrie 3 Bruce Lee, pretty self-explanatory, guys. Besides one call out, is the logo on the tongue the logo you know the combined mamba logo with the Kyrie logo is just so good so good from nike i hope that i don't know i hope anta continues with you know trying to collaborate or have some sort of inspiration with kobe although they're completely separate brands with anta and nike so they probably won't be able to do that but the Kyrie three mamba mentality Basically, the Bruce Lee is just so good. Again, Kyrie 3 is not my favorite performer just because the earlier Kyries didn't have a lot of cushion. It was really with the Kyrie 4 and 5 that implemented a little bit more cushion, especially with, you know, the Zoom Turbo. I think the Zoom Turbo actually was introduced and debuted with the Kyrie 5, I think. So it really just changed the game in terms of how playable the Kyrie line was, especially to a little bit older players. So, but nonetheless, so glad that I have this in the collection. This was like a must in my collection, just because what it represents, the colorway, is just so good. I also have the Kyrie 5 Squidward for the SpongeBob collaboration. Not much to say about these guys, because I've already talked about the Kyrie line already so much, but very clean colorway. This was platinum on AAU courts back in 2019, even 2020, so, or even after the pandemic too. So let me know what you guys think of these. Then I do have the Kyrie 2 sample colorway in the EYBL men's. These actually released in limited quantities in New York City, if my memory is not escaping me. Basically the sample, you know, box, it comes with a sample box, comes with a sample, you know, size tag on the inside of the shoe. This is a very rare pair that's hard to find in sizes nowadays, unless you pay very high resale prices. But nonetheless, probably my favorite Kyrie 2s. Probably, yeah, my favorite Kyrie 2s, just super clean. Next up, I do have the Kyrie 7 Weatherman colorway. These were very readily available back when they first released, guys. Very readily available. The only rare colorway of the Kyrie 7 Weatherman was the alternate, okay? So they released an alternate. It actually like shock dropped on the Nike app, like randomly. And a lot of people didn't know that those released, but I did have a pair. I'm not sure where they are, or even if I still have it. I literally can't remember, but I need to have the alternate pair back. I might just pay resale on GOAT or StockX or something like that, because the alternate pair was fire. The alternate pair of the Weatherman was fire, but I can't wait for the KD4 Weatherman to release as well, so I can do content on both of these colorways and shoes right here. So let me know what you guys think of the Kyrie 7 Weatherman. These also went platinum on AAU courts as well. A lot of people have these. Next up, I do have the Kyrie 8 in the Circle of Life colorway, I believe it's called. These were canceled due to the partnership between Nike and Kyrie Irving, you know, but basically these released everywhere. These actually released, you know, accidentally in outlets, in Foot Lockers. I actually got this pair from Foot Locker and the receipt is in the box somewhere, you know, in the back, as you guys can see all the boxes right there that I lined up. But these actually released at my local Foot Locker on accident i don't think you know the employees knew so if you're wondering how people got these pairs it's because everyone just saw them at full lockers and even champs i think 
the, you know, at my local champs, they had the black orca colorway. I remember getting those and then just returning them because I didn't like that colorway at all. But basically these are just so nice. It's actually a really good performer in my opinion. And I do think these had a lot of potential to be a good basketball shoe, a very popular basketball shoe had they released normally. So let me know what you guys think of these. Lastly, I do have the Anta Kai one in the Artist on Court colorway. This is an extremely good performer. Great grip, great traction, very good lockdown, very good support. Cushion is the only thing because in the forefoot it is pretty minimal, but it is better than like the Kyrie 2 and the Kyrie 3. So, you know, when I talk about cushion, I'm saying like those are very, very low to the ground, but these, you know, does have some cushion in the forefoot. So I can't complain anything about the performance of these. I do think that if these were more readily available for, you know, people to try, I think they would really, you know, agree with me here. But for those who have a pair, I think you're agreeing with me already because I really, really like these. So out of every single Kyrie Irving shoe that I own in my collection, let me know which one is your favorite. And also leave a comment down below letting me know which one, which pair, which colorway am I missing that I should add to the collection? Because there are so many pairs, so many good, you know, Kyrie Lows, you know, Kyrie sevens Kyrie fives threes i don't even have the ones let me know which one i should add to the collection so leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of my entire collection and which ones i should add i am planning to add a little bit more pairs to the collection in certain colorways so i can't wait to get those in follow me on all socials at dg hoops like comment and subscribe especially if you made it this far and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace